Hey guys, it's Pavel here from MRSoft and today I want to talk about how to organize products in your online bookstore. You don't need to manually organize 10,000 book titles. Shopify can do that for you if you know how smart collections and basic subject work. By the end of this video, you will be able to organize your products and have the consumer first, how to leverage complex basic subject structure and how Shopify can help you with all the further imports. Let's get into it. I'm here in my Shopify store, but let's start with a little bit of theory first. So a lot of my clients very often ask me, what is the difference between product category and product collections in Shopify? Let's start with product category. Uh, product categories in Shopify are internal taxonomy. It standardizes product data across stores and it's very often used by Google product feeds, Shopify search discovery and things like that. Each product can only belong to one category and those categories are already predefined by Shopify. So for example, books, they, they can be found under media, books and print books. The main purpose is really to improve SEO metadata, analytics, and merchant-wide consistency. Let's go to product first. And if I open any of those products, the category can be found here. And if I, I already have the print book selected on my product, but here are the list of predefined categories by Shopify. Uh, for us in the bookstore, you want to go to media and then in the media, there is a books category and then we select print book. Shopify often already understands what is the category and basically predefine it. You can just approve it or not. So it's a good addition. And then as you can see, the category that we selected, print books, already comes with some meta fields but in our case this is not going to be important because we will be importing all the products with all the meta fields available i will show you how uh, so that's how you set up a category and then let's go to collections so collections are storefront groupings for products you can control they can be either manual where you add products to your collection manually, or they can be automated. And on to today's video, we are going to focus on smart collections, which are automated. So you won't have to do that manually. Collections can be used on your storefront to select group of products and your customers can see them. Whereas with product category, they are mainly used by Shopify backend and Google feeds and other. You can also put a single product in many collections, but it can be only in one category. Collections can also be used for navigation, theming and promotions. For example, bestsellers, under $20, signed, signed editions and things like that. Let's now talk about basic subjects. What are basic subjects and how are we going to use them to automatically organize your store? BISAC stands for Book Industry Standards and Communication. Let me show you an example and explain how it works. Here we are inside of a Ingram Shopify app. Then I open any of those books, I scroll down and I can see BISAC subjects. Here we have the top level, then we have the subcategory, and the third one is optional deep subcategory. Emersoft Ingram Shopify app comes with all the metadata that are available for basically any book. It has access to a database of more than 12 million titles. And it adds basic subjects as tags, which we are going to use to automatically set up our collections. First of all, I want to create five collections in my store, load them on the homepage and organize my books so customers can easily find what they're looking for. I want to start with leadership. So I'm inside of the app. I can go to Bizac, click search, and I will type leadership, either leadership. So in my case, I will go for religion, let's say business, education, and political science. 
So I selected four basic subjects for leadership. I hit search and I will have all the books that contain any of those subjects. I click on this book and let's check basic subjects. I have my leadership. This is the one I go here for this book. I also have business economics and leadership. Let's scroll down. Then I have my business and leadership. Okay, let's select those books and I'm going to import them to my store. Okay, I selected all of them. I hit import and I can see, let me check what I'm importing. So I have my business economics. Uh, all the basic subjects that we are looking at are now added as tags for those books. So it looks good. Let's import all of them. I have all of those products added to my store. Let me open any of them. And we have tags, leadership, management, motivational skills. So all the basic subjects are imported as tags. Let's go back to the application. And the second category that I want to create is going to be personal finance. So I will start with personal finance basic subject. I type here per personal finance, business and economics, uh, budgeting and invest investing. Okay. Selected those two basic subjects. Uh, let me check those books. Simple path to wealth. Business economics, personal finance looks good. So let me select those books. Again, I'm checking, looks good. Personal finance, personal finance, everything is here. Let's import. Okay, all the books are imported to my store. Let's go back to the application and for that collection, I also want to add investment and securities. So I go back to Bizac, search investments and securities. So let's go bonds, futures and general. Select search and I have my books for personal finance. Uh, business economics looks good. So I'm going to import those books as well. Import again, looks good. Importing books. All the books are imported to my store. Let's go back to the application. And for the personal finance, I also want to include personal growth. Go back to Bizac, personal, personal growth. Uh, let's go for self-help, personal growth in general. This basic subject search. So a lot of those books are already added to my store, as you can see here by grayed out checkboxes, but let's add some more. Okay import looks good okay now all the books that i imported by different sub basic subjects are in my store now we can move to collections and let's set up the automatic categorization let's go to collections and let's start with the first one my first collection is going to be leadership so let's give it a name leadership and we are going to set up a smart collection here you can set up conditions. I'm going to use tags because all my basic subjects are added as tags to products. So in my case, I want to, the tag to be equal to leadership. And uh, let's add another collection. So I want any of those conditions leadership is there i'm also going to add leadership and mentoring and let's do another one leadership 
management and leadership. And let's add another one is going to be motivational and inspirational. So those four basic subjects, all the books that include this basic subject will create my leadership collection. I will just hit save. And as you can see here, books are automatically added to my collection. And now every time I will import new books, they will be automatically categorized by those basic subjects. You can also add an image that will also be displayed on the storefront. Depends on the theme that you're using. My leadership collection is ready. Let's go to a next one. I go back to connect collections. And the second one is going to be personal finance. By the way, as you can see here, I have 49 products in my leadership connect collection. Let's create a new one. Personal finance. Okay. And let's do the same smart collection. For personal finance, I'm going to use tags, any tag. So I want books with those uh, tags. Let's go for personal finance. Personal finance looks good. Another one was investment, investments and securities. And the third one that I imported for my personal finance was personal growth. We can also add personal success. Shopify will give you recommendations from tags that are already in the system. That it makes it even easier for you to organize. So let's go personal success. Hit save. And books are automatically organized. I can go back to collections and let's review. So my personal finance has 103 books automatically added, just like that. Then my leadership collection has 49 books. And then each time I add new products or make any changes in the store, this will be automatically updated. So I don't need to be worried about it. Now let's go to a storefront and I'm going to show you how to display those connections, how to actually use them. But first, if I open any of those collections, I can see my products are actually in draft. So we need to activate them and include them in the online store. So I go back to products. Let's do that in bulk. Select all. And then set as active. All my products are active now. And let's do the same for sales channel. Include in sales channel. And all my products are already in my online store. Let's go to the theme. I go to online store section. Theme. I'm using a publisher theme. Then I will go to customize. And here I have a featured product section. What I can do is I can basically just duplicate that. I go duplicate. I can also duplicate the name of the section. So let's say this one. I will drag and drop it, move it here, and then I can just swap the collection. So in this case, let's go with my leadership books. Leadership books. Okay, looks good. Then I will select that featured collection and I will just choose a different collection from my store. So I want my leadership books. And here, just like that, all my leadership books that are automatically added to my collection based on basic subjects that are imported through Ingram Shopify app. This is all synced with Ingram, the biggest database of products that are out there and just automatically add it to my store. In terms of the visuals, this can be adjusted and you know, corrected. I see some of those cover images are cropped, but this is not really a problem for us right now. Then I can go to a next section. Let's change the name of the collection. The second collection I have was personal finance. 
Okay. And then let's do the same. I select the featured collection and I just replace the collection with my personal finance books. And all the personal finance books are just here. And we can do the same in the main menu. So let's first save the changes. And I go back. Then we go to content, select menus, and let's update the main menu. So let's add a new item. Categories. Let's do categories. And let's select the all collections page. Then let's go for leadership leadership books then we would go collections and my leadership collection and let's do the same for personal finance per personal and the same collection personal finance looks good and now i can just drag and drop them below the categories so it's nested under my categories main item as you can see here, we can nest very deep, but I just want this to be on the same level. So right now we have categories, leadership, and personal finance. So I save, my main menu is updated, and I can navigate back to my online store and customize my theme. And here I should get the updated uh, drop-down. So just to update the, the menu, I will change the menu type. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time until this is updated, but we can see my categories and the mega menu style for this particular theme. So I have my leadership and personal finance. I can change the type to drop down, and now I have a different style. So that really, the visuals depends on the theme that you have. But the logic is already there. So we have our categories and then leadership. And if I open that page, I will have all my leadership books added to my store. As you can see, full data, the prices, the cover images, and all that stuff is here. That's it. This is how you can easily organize your store automatically with smart collections and Ingram Shopify app with all the data using basic subjects. And I know from the experience that a lot of our clients have problems with that. They, they used to spend so much time updating all of that, manually looking for data. I don't even want to mention basic subjects because as we know in books industry, everything is pretty much outdated all over the place, requires a lot of copy and pasting. In our case, Everything is organized and can be automatically added to your store. And then you can just talk to ChatGPT and get recommendations. What would be the best? What are the best basic subjects? Or what are the basic subjects that we can bundle to create certain collections? And then put them together as I was showing you on this video and have your online store running automatically. So that's really it. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward and simple, especially if you've access to all the meta fields and everything is organized and you can just import it with a click of a button. Because as we know, in the books industry, everything is kind of all over the place, requires a lot of manual work, copy, pasting and all that stuff. But with the data in place, you can set up smart collections just like that. And you can go even further uh, when you use other meta fields like audience type, then you can create collections that with books that would be, let's say, personal finance, but only for children or only for young adults. So there are really no limitations in Shopify. If you guys have any questions or if you need any help, comment down below and I'm happy to help you. I will see you in the next one.